We have just two days to finish the Jameson project, so let's keep moving. I'm working on the first quarter figures right now. I'm meeting their attorney 8 a.m. tomorrow to negotiate Section C. I'm getting together with Tina from marketing to look into escape clauses. I wonder what else you and Tina will be looking into. Heads up. The boss says we gotta have this done by noon tomorrow. Oh, oh no. I guess we're working through dinner again tonight. I wonder what the boss is doing while we work our butts off. His secretary says he's meeting with their public relations director to negotiate compensation and bonuses. You must be the James and Negotiator. Pleased to meet you. No, I'm the bonus. Pleased to meet you too. Hi, love. Did you have a good day at the office? Okay, honey, I know you're smart. You've got a PhD in physics, you teach quantum mechanics at Harvard, and you're in line for the Nobel Prize. But I've got a question about how the universe operates that I bet even you can't answer. Oh dear. I guess your day wasn't so good after all. You better let it out. How is it that in any business, the boss who doesn't have a clue makes the big bucks, while the smart guys who keep the business going make peanuts? Calm down, honey. It's just basic physics, high school stuff. You've got to be kidding. Here it is. You remember that work equals power times time? Sort of. We all know that knowledge is power and time is money. Okay. Substitute those in the first equation and we get work equals knowledge times money. Are we almost done? We're done. Solve for money, and we have money equals work divided by knowledge. Oh no. It's not fair! It's a fundamental law of the business universe. The more knowledge you have, the less money you make. Get used to it. Why did I have to marry a smart woman? <laughs> 